We've got five, ten, nine, eight, 186 watt average. And I've got exactly five minutes left. Come on, come on, come on, Ryan. My legs are on fire. My ass is killing me. Pump those legs. One eight nine. He fell, and he fell. One minute left. Ah! Up my knee. I've lost it. What did I stand up for? Little red sport car. Little red sport car. Just a sad memory. Okay, so this is my second Zwift video. I wasn't planning on having two Zwift videos, one after another. I bought this bike nine days ago now. I'm conscious of a couple of things. Firstly, I haven't really done much of a first impressions of the Watt bike. On my first video, it was mostly Zwift I was talking about. Nice. Oh yeah. I didn't really give the bike a chance um, in that video, so I thought I'd kind of remedy that now and just talk about first impressions. Nothing major. There's much better Watt bike review videos out there on YouTube than me talking about my first impressions of the bike. And also in this video, I've retaken my FTP test. I've just finished doing it. I've just got out the shower. The reason why I'm retaking the FTP test today, which is only nine days after I last did it, or seven days or eight days, however long ago I did it, is because the first time I did it, I did the wrong test. I did the hour and 20 minute FTP test, which I've been told by many, many different people now on Instagram and YouTube comments that it was the wrong test for someone who just bought the bike and started using Zwift. On the back of my last video where I did my FTP test, which gave me an average, I think, of 145 watts, um, total average across the whole hour and 20 minute FTP test, which included a 20 minute warm up, um, loads of ramps up to a maximum of 540 watts. And then I did, after all of that, I did my 20 minute um, final FTP test right at the end. I did the wrong FTP test. So obviously I was completely gassed by the time I actually got to the point where it was important which was at the end on the last 20 minutes. Here we go, 20 minutes. Bring my power up to what I can hold. I'm already above what I can hold. Ah. Ah. By which point my legs were done, um, I'd burnt all my energy. So I'm gonna do it again. On hindsight, I don't think it made any difference because my results aren't too dissimilar, but I'm not gonna give any spoilers away now. Well, that was a spoiler. The problem with the first test was that it had a 20 minute warm up, which I didn't need and then it gave me a high wattage ramp section. And I think the highest I had to get up to was 540. So by the time I then hit the 20 minute FTP test at the end, before the cool down, my legs were toast. So I thought if I do the shorter version, which has lower wattage, shorter warm up, when I hit the FTP test, then I should be ready to kind of give it my all. But I just wanna say a big thank you to Lisa, um, who follows me on Instagram and also is one of my subscribers on YouTube, who's a big Zwifter. And she gave me a load of advice about how to kind of set the bike up, things I should be doing. It, initial impressions are very good, by the way. I, I love it, I think it's great. But there are a couple of little things, the biggest being out of all the little things, and these are mine and these are things that I need to overcome, is it absolutely killed my ass. So last time I used this, the day after I was walking, I came down the stairs, the next day, walking like John Wayne. Howdy, man. I'm gonna talk about the bike first, and then I'm gonna talk about the FTP test. I'm gonna start with the things I don't like. I think that some of these things that I'm about to mention, I don't think will be an issue for me, because I think once I get used to them, they'll be okay. So the first thing is, when I'm riding along, putting my hands here, I keep doing this on the bike, so I keep riding on here instead of under here. By doing so, I've managed to give these, I've made them so they move and I need to keep tightening them. That's my first gripe, um, which I'm sure 
won't be an issue once I keep reminding myself to cycle like this. Let me move the camera closer so you can see it properly. I bought the um, comfort seat instead of the racing seat because I was, I was advised that it'll be more comfortable. And I'm a heavy bloke. I'm still not fighting weight yet. The first time I used it, the seat completely destroyed me. That's probably something which I shouldn't be worrying about moving forward. What I have done is I've gone out and bought two cycling shorts with the thickest padding I could find. I've gone and bought a pair of shorts, or two of them. I've got one on, and this is the other pair. I'm gonna wear both now. I know it's overkill. My ass was absolutely rocking and rolling the day after. When I first, first took the steps to lose weight back in 2019, I did try cycling for the first time. hated every second of it. It absolutely destroyed me. I still weighed 27 on stone. Um, it wrecked me. Things I like about it. So the things that I like about the bike is the quality of the build. It's very rigid. Um, there's not a lot of movement in it. It was only once I tightened the seat down, which was the only thing that was moving, it was, it, the bike is solid. It's very easy to connect. The fact that it connects to Zwift with one click and I haven't got a stand here trying to get it to connect is brilliant. I've had no issues. It's really, really heavy. I like that. A lot of people, let me just move the camera up. A lot of people have said that's a negative in their reviews. The fact it's so heavy and it's hard to move around, but I don't want to move it. I want to, I've, you know, this is a designated space that I've made for the bike and I'm, I want to keep it here. So the delivery of the bike was really, really good. It was a really, really good turnaround time. Um, however, the delivery guys, when they delivered it, knocked on my door like the drug squad and scared the living daylights out of me. So before I get going, um, I've also downloaded the Zwift companion app. So we're gonna do FTP test shorter, which is 45 minutes. A short variation of the standard FTP test starts off with a short warm up, a quick leg opening ramp, and a five minute hard effort to get the legs pumping. After a brief rest, it's time to give it your all and go as hard as you can for 20 solid minutes. So that's the plan. And I'm gonna use erg mode. So we're gonna complete a workout. Let's do this. My camera just froze. I've absolutely no idea if I recorded any of that. I've just completed the five minute warm up. I did 20 seconds at 135, which for some reason hasn't been ticked off. So I don't know if I over egged it. I did 20 seconds at 170 watts, which I've got half a star for. So I assume that means I half achieved it. I did 20 seconds at 205 watts, which I got ticked, a whole star. Then I did three minutes at 85 watts, which ticked off a whole star. And now I'm in my three minutes at 185 watts. This is working out really well. I feel a lot better, other than my camera freezing. I feel a lot better about this. We're maintaining a relatively solid 180, 190 pace. 10 seconds, nine, five, four, three, two, one. Right, two minutes at 2.05. I've got a tick, I've got a whole star for the three minutes, 185 watts. It's a good 15 seconds left. Oh, now that. Right, six minutes at 85 watts. Easy, 15 seconds. Right, here we go. We're gonna do 20 minute FTP test now. Right, go. <sighs> 20 minutes. I'm gonna try and see if I can keep it above 200. Man, I need a fan. Gee, gee whiz. Oh, that's exactly five minutes down. 15 minutes left. Jesus. I've just 
lost 15 watts on my FTP because I had to stop to format the bloody card. Sort your logistics out before you start riding. It's too much to remember with this Wift. Come on. Right, we're at eight minutes, 25 seconds left. My cadence is good. My cadence has been strong. I wish I could go up a gear. I'm spinning too much, losing power. I don't know what it is I'm doing wrong, but the power's there. But I just feel if I could go up a gear. But I'm in erg mode, I can't. I wish my avatar was showing as much effort. He's making it look easy. 186 watt average. And I've got exactly five minutes left. Come on. My screen's starting to go fuzzy. It must mean I'm tired. Thank God that's there to tell me. I've been putting down 1.5, 1.6 watt per kilogram. Okay. Four minutes left. Oh, am I feeling strong? Three minutes left. Come on. Come on, Ryan. My legs are on fire. Come on. My ass is killing me. Pump those legs. Two minutes. 189. He fell and he fell. One minute left. Ah! One minute left. Ah! I've lost it. What did I stand up for? It's just spinning. 30 seconds. I've lost it. It's just spinning now because I stood up. What did I stand up for? Seven, six, five. I've got a five minute warm down now. Cool down. Cool down. Whatever it's called. Oh, I have to finish. Come on. Come on. Oh, I don't want to do the cool down. Oh, it's done. I've just got the FTP test data here and I averaged 142 watts across the entire 45 minute FTP test. I cycled for 13.6 kilometers and I burnt 365 calories. My power ratio in the middle, my graph, shows where I expelled most of the energy. So I, even though this FTP test isn't dramatically different to the first one I did, there's two positives. First is that I know now that this is a genuine number and the first one wasn't impacted by the fact that I had done loads of really high wattage ramps and a massive warm-up before going into the FTP test. But it gives me a good baseline now to work off. I can now choose training plans and races based off of this result. The only thing I did struggle with, and this is something which I need to spend some time looking into, is my cadence and also I span out a lot. Um, I actually had an, uh, I nearly fell off the bike twice. He fell and he fell. One minute left. Ah! I tried to do a sprint at the end of the 20 minute FTP test. When I tried to sprint, I obviously just spun my legs because there was no resistance and I smashed my knee on the handlebar. I need to spend some time looking into how the erg mode works versus the cadence versus being able to change gears. Well, obviously I can't in erg mode. So those are the kind of thoughts that are going through my head right now in regards to the FTP test. But yeah, so I'm just gonna have a quick interlude uh, into this video because I noticed when I was editing this video, um, a screen popped up, which was my ride results from this FTP test. And I never noticed this when I was making the original video a few days ago. So I just thought I'd quickly add this now. So it says that this ride over five seconds, my best 
wattage was 279 watts. Over one minute, I, I scored 216 watts and my best is 285. Over five minutes, 197. And then over 20 minutes, I scored the best 20 minute result of 189. So the five seconds, the one minute and the five minutes, I think I probably could have put more down, definitely over the five seconds and one minute. But I was trying to stick to what it was telling me to do. So obviously I should have gone for it, um, which I will do next time. I'll bear that in mind. And then the five minutes and 20 minutes, I think it's actually quite a good result. So I'm happy with that. So all in all, this FTP test was a huge success and I'm going to use this to kickstart me into some events that I'm going to do in the, uh, in the next few days. As always, thank you for watching this video. As I say in my channel description, if you want to subscribe and leave me comments, um, oh, hang on, it'd help if I hit stop, wouldn't it? It motivates me. It helps me. It helps me enormously. Um, it makes these videos worthwhile. And in return, I'll ensure that I entertain you and motivate you as well if you're a keen cyclist and you're a swifter um, as always please feel free to give me any advice because i'm starting out on this journey the two main things i'm hoping to get out of this is fun in training so as it helps complement my running and helps my effort to lose weight ahead of some big challenges i've got coming up this year i have a target weight i need to get down to and I need to get down to that over the next four months. If you're not a Zwifter and you're new to exercise and you've come to my channel because you're looking for ideas on how to lose weight and to get fit, then welcome. Um, and I hope that I'm able to kind of, if nothing else, I hope that I'm able to inspire you. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.